Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome to a review of the Canon EOS M3. Um, so my first thoughts on this camera uh, were, was its size when I opened it out of the box. Uh, this camera is very small and it's definitely much smaller and lighter than my previous camera which was a Sony Cybershot DMC R1. Um, it fits really nicely into your hands. Uh, it's got a really nice feel to it, it's got one of the nicest grips that I've seen uh, in mirrorless cameras and um, it's just overall a fantastic camera, just the, the general layout of it. So moving on um, to the screen, uh, the screen is a 2 inch uh, LCD monitor, uh, it flips up and flips round if you want to do videoing, um, so that's brilliant if it's standing on a tripod and you're just filming by yourself and you want to get yourself aligned up there. Uh, it also comes out like so, and you can bend it round and bend up like that if you want to get a shot where it's quite high up and you need to see. Um, but this is a fantastic feature because it allows you to see things that you wouldn't usually see if it was a fixed screen. So, moving on to the lenses. Um, the kit lens that comes with this version, this is the 20, well, sort of November, December 2015 version is a 15 to 45 uh, millimeter lens. This is the Canon EFM lens and it's got image stabilization inside it. And um, if you want to transport this, it's really good because you simply just push this forward and it goes away like that and transforms into a much smaller lens. Um, I believe this camera came with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, the original version, um, which was came out to about here and was much bigger and it wasn't that great a lens. Um, it's got the same sensor, take the lens off here, it's got the same sensor as the 7, Canon 750D and you can also buy a lens adapter where you can put Canon's EF lenses on this. Um, Canon also offer, uh, I think it's a pancake lens, 22mm pancake lens for this and it's again much smaller if you were just out taking photos generally. Um, they do have a zoom lens for this, uh, which is a fantastic addition to this camera. It allows you to get some uh, shots that are really far away. And it's a 55 to 200 millimeter, and that's the maximum you can get in the EF-M lens range. Um, if you wanted to go further with that, you would have to buy the EF adapter. Um, so moving on to sharing and remote shooting, um, you can buy a remote for this camera and uh, it's a fantastic if you flip it on to mode 2, just switch at the back there, and then put the camera onto video mode, um, you'll then be able to start videos with it and if you have it uh, on mode 1, you'll then be able to shoot photos and if you want to take pictures of sports and it's on a tripod and you're uh, I think it's five feet or something the maximum distance this is, or something similar to that. Um, you can take photos of that when you put it into the, that particular mode. Um, then I've got I've got my phone here. Um, so this is an iPhone 5S, and you can download that Canon EOS M3 app on this, and it also gives you all, uh, lots of information, like tips on how to shoot and such things as that. Um, so remote shooting as well, you can actually see the battery life uh, that's left on this camera from your phone and how many photos you've got left and I've currently got 6,473. So you can see at the moment it's not focusing simply because it's in carry mode but if I then move the lens to shooting mode you can see that it is now working. You can also view photos on this app and download them, which is another fantastic feature to an already great camera. Um, so the video quality on this is 1080p, and autofocus is actually pretty good. Um, it's just 1080p, it's not 4K or anything, um, which a lot of companies I've heard do offer cameras do 4K around about this size but I didn't really look into them and it's just, it's a fantastic camera for video quality, I've already tried it out 
and it is really good for that. Um, it's twice the size of my old camera, more than twice the size in megapixels. This one is 24.2 megapixels and my old one was 10.3. Uh, the, the, sorry, the uh, image quality you get with this is just phenomenal. Um, you can pick out things in the distance, you can use the, it's got a manual focus ring on here to make sure you pick out those things and it's really just fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks very much for watching and next time we'll be using this camera to shoot one of our next videos.